want to read it and my friend recommended it she said you must read this book oh it's such a funny book and i read it and i tell you if you start this book in the night people will come and knock on your door and ask why you are laughing so hard hello today i am really excited because i want to share with you the five african books i read this year and maybe there's more to it as well hi my name is shoes and you are warmly welcome to this channel so let's get straight into these books i have read and i know that at the end of this 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 video you will go grab copies of these books and enjoy these stories as well so let's get straight into it number five wow why am i starting with number five okay let's get ahead with it number five it lies of baba segi's wives by lola shunayin I'd been wanting to read this book since 2020, but I kept postponing it and postponing it. And then I finally got to read the book this year. And wow, I'll always remember the story in this book. So not to spoil things for you. It's a story about Baba Seki with his four wives and seven children. And the first three wives hate the last wife because she's young and educated and there's more to it and there's a secret to be unraveled and so the book explores the theme of polygamy sexuality mental health and the struggles of african women and it's been one of my favorite books i've read this year it's actually a page turner I, I i i recommend that you go grab a copy and read it for yourself i i can't even share the stories with you because i don't want to spoil the fun for you so go grab a copy and read this book for yourself number four ghana must go by taiye selassie actually the title of this book made me read it but before i had read the book one day i was roaming on youtube and then i saw that the author of the book had given a ted talk so i said oh let me go and listen and see before i go and read the book and i was blown away she said Shh. A charismatic woman the way she spoke the way she presented herself was just so beautiful so i was like oh let me go and read this book but if you are a Ghanaian or a nigerian this term or this phrase ghana must go is not new to you the term actually dates back in i think 1983 when Ghanaians were deported from nigeria because nigeria believed the Ghanaians were taking their jobs so they had to go back home others also say it's a payback to when Ghanaians or ghana had deported nigerians i think between 1969 to 1972 as well whatever it is there's just this common term ghana must go and it's even named after a bag but far from it this story is beyond that it's a story of a ghanaian nigerian family living in the u.s and it talks about the struggles of the um, immigrant life and though it's a story about this modern family living in the u.s um, it explores the area so as the questions of where do we come from what do we want what do we seek to achieve and it portrays that the truth always heals all wounds i really love this book and you should go grab a copy and read it for yourself number three his only wife by peace azo media no spoilers but this book is about marriage in absentia um, for those who are not familiar with the theme marriage in absentia is where one of the couple isn't physically present for the marriage and someone has to stand in place for the person usually it's a cousin a brother a, a sister like usually a close family relative stands in place for the person from what i have seen and heard most of the time it's usually the men that are not around the person is probably living abroad once a wife from his village or his country his family does arrangements marries the lady she lives with the family until he comes home or she joins him there but this book is far more than that it's beyond that so this book not to not to give out too much but i want to you to see how the story goes so this book is set in ghana about a young woman who is married off to a man she doesn't really know and this man has a girlfriend and a child and the family doesn't want the girlfriend and wants this lady to go in hopes that she will get rid of that woman. This lady is also being forced by her family to marry the family of this man because the family of the man supported the family. I hope I'm not saying too much. And there's just so much in between and so much drama and you'll get to learn a lot. So go grab this book. Number two, The Son of the House by Kelochi 
Onye Melukwe Onobia. I'm sorry to the author if I didn't pronounce it right. Okay, but this book, The Son of the House, is such an intriguing novel. It's it's a book about two women and talks about hope and drama and laws and brings out the issues of patriarchy. It was a bit emotional for me, but I really also enjoyed the book and I learned so many lessons from it. And who says that it's only from nonfiction or self-help books you can learn lessons from? I remember this phrase or this quote that stuck out with me in this book. It says that what use is shyness in a world where boldness gets you everything. And it really stuck me because I grew up really shy and when I pondered on this thing, I really see the importance of putting away your shyness and being bold and exploring the world and all that. So go grab a copy of this book and I'm sure you will enjoy the story and you will learn so many things as well. But one book is Nearly All Men in Lagos Are Mad by Damilari Kuku. See the title of this book. When I saw it, I was like, mm, what is this book trying to say? I was a bit reserved. I didn't want to read it. And my friend recommended it. She said, you must read this book. Oh, it's such a funny book. And I read it. And I tell you, if you start this book in the night, people will come and knock on your door and ask why you are laughing so hard. So it's a book about short stories that portrays different types of Lagos men. And each story is a scandal to unfold. Honestly, you will laugh and laugh and laugh. It's such a funny book. And I guess you also get to learn something from it or you get to know Lagos men. So grab a copy of this book if you haven't read it yet. And I have two more books to share with you. Should I call them bonus books? Or I should have just made this book seven books I read by African authors. Okay, so let's get straight into the last two books I read by African authors this year. And so our first bonus book is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. I've read a few memoirs and most of them are usually emotional, you know, all these life stories of people, they are usually emotional, but this book was different. This book is also a memoir by Trevor Noah, but then it's absolutely different from the others I have read. So it's a book where Trevor sh shares his, his childhood struggles, even into growing up as an adult, living in a world where he's trying to find himself, that he wasn't even meant to be born in the first place. Trevor puts the message of religion, politics, education across, but in a humorous way. And though you really get the information he's trying to say, you will be laughing along as well. And if you haven't read this book, I know you have heard about it. Go grab a copy and read it for yourself. And our second bonus book is Wahala by Nikki May. Um, this book is about three, are they three friends? I think so. There are three Anglo-Nigerian best friends. So the book is set in the UK, but these ladies or these friends can trace their roots to Nigeria and they are going through different phases in life but they find out that they have a common enemy who seeks to destroy them all not to put out so much you will really enjoy this this book as well it's such a nice story and I think I read it in in one day so go grab a copy for yourself and I just want to tell Nigerians that they should stop shading Ghana Jollof in their books we all know which people have the best Jollof in the world anyways thank you so much for sticking around with me and I hope you go grab a copy of these books subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like leave a comment down below which of these books have you read already and which of them do you want to go pick a copy and read for yourself so subscribe share it to your friends as well and you can read it with your friends and discuss it and so i'll link my other videos here for you to go watch them as well thank you and enjoy your day stay safe bye bye